Beyonce released a new song. Oh, it, it happened so long ago. Like, I totally forgot about it. I mean, it was okay. It was for the, the cause, but I don't want to listen to it again. God. Child, it is the end of days. It is the end of days. So you got your hair cut. Yeah, you know, I got rid of the COVID fro, and, you know, I, I got a, uh, what do you call it? A, a taper but I'm going to get back to my ball fade. I mean, I just want to see what it looked like because I'm still not going anywhere. Well, hold but, on. Give it to us from the side. Huh? G give it to us from the side. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it's fine. I like it, but, you know, I kind of just miss my fade. Okay. Um, I like it. I, I like it. I think it looks good on you. Um, I'm thumbs upping it, but if you want to go back to the fade, challenge your head. <laughs> It is my head. I only got one head, unlike Chloe. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, like, you know, do right with my one head. Uh, bring back the, um, the 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 other one, and then we'll we'll be able to compare and contrast because you know yeah. it's been so long. Yeah, um, just the experience because we're in phase two in New York. Like in the barber shops, they have like a plastic curtain that's separating the chairs. Um, also, I couldn't wait inside the barber shop. Like, I had to, like, wait on the street. Uh, I was and I had, I had an appointment. I was about to say, oh, finally, barber shops are going to be appointment only, but you know, us. Yeah, but I didn't expect him to finish, like, 12 on the dot, but I was sitting outside for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes isn't the worst. But it was hot. It's hot in New York right now. It's 86 degrees. Excuse me? What did you just say? I what? said it's hot. It's hot in New York and it's 86 degrees. Hot? It's 106 degrees right now. That's hot. That's okay. <laughs> I'm officially Alexander of the desert, but I love it hot. Also, you have a pool. True. It's too windy right now for me to film in the pool, which is why we're not there. I was very surprised. So was I. Child, we have some sissy spoiler news. Really? What? For a moment, the brothers were not willing to cooperate with the police, but then they backpedal and sip up right back into their deal. Did they? Because I saw a little like headline about them not wanting to testify because they had the police had their stuff or some shit. Oh, okay. Here's what it says from CBS Local. Abel and his brother will no longer testify against Jesse because they feel like they're being treated like suspects despite being cleared by police. I would understand if we were defendants in the case, which we are not. I, I can understand that, but also like you got to remember, you did shit, and you're here because of immunity. Like, you were in on the hoax, wasting police time and my tax dollars. Your tax dollars. So don't act like you all innocent, and you was framed too, Roger Rabbit. And now we found out you was out here getting diddled in men's spas. Boy, please. You're Apparently, it's all still a legend. You're sorry, sissies, the lot of you, alleged or not. So someone messaged me that, um, did you see the photo of Britney Spears calling herself the Queen Bee? I just told people, you know what? Leave Britney alone. This girl is on, on meds. Mm -hmm. She's a shell of her former self. Let her have it. Let her have it in her own mind, you know? You know it. She ain't hurt nobody. She ain't appropriate nothing. She is Britney. So exactly. She's queen, and her name starts with B. Just, just, really, she really ain't doing it. She's not even performing anymore. Not even putting out music anymore. We're happy to see her healthy on Instagram. We're happy to see her alive. Because we're lucky. I'm serious. Real talk. We yeah. lost a lot of good people. Yeah. So, she, and she ain't done nothing. So I, I'm right. Leave her alone. She <laughs> leave Brittany alone. 
I'm sorry, Steve Grossman, Nene Leakes rep, has said it's 100% untrue that she is fired from Roe. However, she's having larger talks with NBC Universal about a talk show for next season. A talk show? I mean, regular talk shows can't even have guests right now, like, or an audience. I think she should pump the brakes on that. And who would watch? Well, I mean, people watch the Discovery Channel and National Geographic all the time. Also, the Learning Channel, they're thriving businesses. So I think that seeing a moose try to host a talk show, try to hold that mic and her hoof, child, I know I tune in. I mean, I think Bullwinkle was before her, so she's not a trailblazer. <laughs> oh, your car, girl. <laughs> uh, she is. She isn't. I mean, she isn't. But um, this could be her time to shine. I think that it would be nice to see her do something different, and then she'll have maybe some new self worth, and she won't be such an ass on the show like Kenya, who'll never get any new self. Yeah. And hopefully she doesn't, you know, knock anyone's tooth out. You know, she treats the staff kinder. Yeah, with her antlers. I tell you, I mean, Kenya Moore was the one that started with the moose, right? It was Kim. <laughs> oh, it was Kim. Damn. After Nene called her a low-down monkey with a wig on. And called her a moose. She was charging at me like a moose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweetie, okay. I need to rewatch that one. Like when they were on the tour bus. Because mm -hmm. Nene was red hot. That was the maddest I think I've seen her in a long time. People think that's when she started doing cocaine or pills. She was sweating bullets in that scene, too. And those eyes. Bug eyes, yep. Are you here for a Nene talk show? No. Simple no. Getting in shape doesn't have to be about losing a specific amount of weight or a magic number on the scale. It's about building healthier habits and feeling better about yourself. If fitting into that favorite pair of jeans is your goal, great. But there are many reasons you might wanna practice self-care. Every person is different. For me, my health goals were reducing the belly and fitting into the clothes that I already had rather than having to keep going up a size every year. Same. Because in this house, I really need to work on my midsection. That is my current goal right now. Because everyone is different, Noom adjusts to your lifestyle. They teach you the psychology behind the decisions you make and then help you keep track of everything from workouts and steps to analyzing your diet and recommending healthy recipes. Noom also connects you with a personally assigned goal specialist and a community of other Noomers so that you have all the support you need to empower your change. I will say for me, the healthy recipes are what I've needed to change because I get bored really easy. And when I pick up my phone, I've deleted my Seamless app and I've replaced it with Noom. <laughs> and the specific lessons um, you learn about psychology of your habits, and it's just the ease of just 10 minutes a day. And the great thing is with Noom, it allows you flexibility where I can still have burgers, I just don't have them all the time. And because it has a great food logging program, you start to realize what you're eating and when. Noom has one of the biggest and most accurate food databases available that lets you track your meal habits, visualize portion sizes, and see calorie density at a glance. You're human. If you go off track, there's no shaming, just tips to get you back on track tomorrow. So you don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps make big progress. Sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash roast. What do you have to lose? Visit Noom dot com slash roast to start your trial today. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash roast. So Tawanda Braxton has been accused of stealing from her mother and her sisters yet again. Now, this time, it was by her ex-assistant, well, Tony Braxton's ex-assistant, who used to be on the Braxtons, Zoe. 
He's got a podcast now with Nivea, of all people. So she's stealing Social Security checks. From Evelyn, of all people. But um, Tawanda, of course, is denying all of this, even though she's been to jail for fraud before. And we know- Jail? Well, no, not jail, but probation. I'm sorry, it was probabe. Oh, okay. And uh, she's no stranger in bankruptcy court, so I could totally see her snatching a check or two. Zoe was putting all her business in the street, saying she ain't got a job either, and all she does is use her sister's credit cards, which makes sense because she married a bum. And you know how much is you, how much are you making living off Tony or Tamar? Two other people that aren't strangers to bankruptcy court. I guess the family that files Chapter Eleven together stays together. Now, which one is Tawanda? The one who just came out with the skincare line, but she doesn't give you youth or beauty. Yeah, I only know Tamar, um, Tony, and I know the tall one who had like the white husband for a minute. Tracy, no. Tracy, that's Tracy. No, no, that's not Tracy. Trina, yeah. Trina. Tracy is the forgotten Braxton. The forgotten one. Which one was the one who was on the sister circle? Trina. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know a Tawanda. I'm sorry. Tawanda's the thieving Braxton. Oh, okay. Well, sorry to that woman. Tiana Taylor is prepping her home birth with midwife Erica Badu. Uh huh. Erica Badu is a doula, and she's going to help Tiana Taylor have her second baby at home. And honestly, would you want to go to a hospital right now? I'd rather have Erica down there saying, oh, hey, push a little and the head's coming this way. <laughs> oh, we're starting to crown. Baby, don't frown. It's a new life here. I think she'll just sing that baby right out. Tiana ain't gonna even going to feel no pain. And I think uh -oh. that I want Jill Scott there, too. I applaud you for seeing the positive in that because I was just thinking, I mean, has Erica delivered a baby before? Yeah, she's actually really serious about it. And come on, it's Erica Badu. Like, you know she'd be into that stuff. So she did that. She's been into it and training for it for like years in between tours. So she's not going to have any type of like um, medication for pain? Um, it's gonna be a natural birth. A natural birth. Now, do you, have you heard what natural birth feels like? I look at her abs and I'm like, you know what? If you can do that, you can do anything. Well, I heard from someone that it feels like shitting a knife. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. What? T.I. Harris partners with Clark Atlanta to teach trap music. Really? See, I saw that headline. I was just like, what is he going to teach? He, who is in charge? Who is encouraging this? <laughs> who is going to spend money he on T.I. as a teacher? He could teach you how to embarrass the hell out of your daughter. Uh, yeah. And also, he hasn't done anything musically relevant in going on a decade. Like, you're not hot. You're, you're old. You're now on the family hustle. Like, why are you going to teach people about music no one will be listening to in five years? I really hate his show, too. And um, That's like teaching Crunk and B. I feel sorry for his kid, too, because it seemed like she was very, like, uh, embarrassed by that story. I would be embarrassed my father was T.I. and that ignorant. True. I heard he's going to have, like, he's going to be, like, an assistant teacher. Some, someone else is going to be in the classroom with him as he's teaching. You got to watch his ass. <laughs> I guess so. After he was talking about a check, mm-mm, mm-mm. I know we were talking about Beyonce earlier. She will be making an appearance at the BET Awards because she will be um, accepting, well, they're giving her the Humanitarian Award. And this, this year is going to be broadcast on CBS. So everybody's going to see it. And it's the easiest part of it. She doesn't even have to go to an awards show. She just accepts it. 
10 minute clip, if that, and that's it. Now what's that face for? Beyonce ain't been to the BET Awards since. I mean, this is perfect for her though. I mean, she can be in the comfort of her own home. So as long as she still ain't gotta be around them, she'll show up. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna call the same thing. Wait, now, was she there last year? I can't remember, I don't know. No, you would have known. Was she there the year before? They always try to get her there, always. But I think she did do, I wanna say she was there for 2017, maybe. Because Lemonade, she was still doing shit for that. I don't remember. Y'all help us out in the comments. I don't remember. Indicted Love and Hip Hop star accused of running a $5 million Ponzi scheme. Oh my God. That guy, Mo, that was supposedly married to Carly Red, and then she said she hurried up and got a divorce, but we ain't seen paperwork first. I don't know these people. First, he was accused of scamming the government out of a $2 million PPP loan. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay. And now he's been charged with running a $5 million Ponzi scheme. Jeez, he's really bad at that. He's been doing this for six years to cover a big money gambling habit. He posed as the owner of a profitable trucking business, but never generated enough revenue to cover expenses. He caused 20 individuals to invest over $5 million into the business. Where did he find 20 people with $5 million in Atlanta? Because I'm sorry, he don't look like he's swimming them circles. And, and also, why would they give him the money? Look at him. There's a lot of suckers in um, Atlanta. All you got to do is find 20 of them. I mean, I didn't know it was that easy. I mean, Atlanta is one of the scam capitals of the country. I'm sorry if y'all live in Atlanta, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Be careful. Vanny can be beat you. <laughs> oh, have you been dealing with the fireworks? Oh, okay, because it's, it's been widespread all over New York and different cities in America. Oh. It's been a whole thing. I have seen two. They're saying it's so the police can have a, you know, the community can have a want for the police again, because the police are ignoring it right now. And it's been every night since June 1st. Every night between 8 and 2, promptly, fireworks. The, the fireworks that they've been using is like professional fireworks. Like they're using the cases that are like 300 bucks a pop. That's, that's the type of fireworks that are being popped right now. Like Macy's level. What the, in the city for real? Yes, that's why everyone is like, that's why it's such a big thing right now because it's been consistent nights of these huge fireworks. And I'm like, who is paying thousands of dollars for fireworks during a pandemic that, that's why like I I posted a video on my Instagram CDIGGI1 but um it was like it looked like a case of water and I looked it up on Google that shit is like 200 to 300 dollars a piece and they're just popping them like like it's nothing and bringing out another case and they've been saying that you've had people Allegedly, some people have been getting it for free or they've been leaving it in neighborhoods for people to set it off. Ah. So, there it is right there. You heard it? Oh, God. I'm sorry, but it's 9 o'clock over here, so hopefully we can finish it up because once it goes off, it's not going to stop. I'm just saying. That is, I, I had no idea. I hope the listeners heard that boom that just happened just now. I heard the boom. I thought it was something in your house. I'm not lying. <laughs> Do you experience stress or have anxiety or chronic pain? Have trouble sleeping at least once a week? You're not alone. Many of us do. I've definitely had trouble sleeping since I've gotten out here and I take two drops of feels myself. And with those fireworks going on, I need something to calm myself down. 
and Fields does the trick. Fields is premium CBD delivered directly to your doorstep. Fields naturally helps relieve stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. And it's easy to take. You place a few drops of field under your tongue and feel the difference within minutes. The thing to remember about CBD is that finding your right dose is important. So leave room to experiment over the course of a week or so. You may need to take more or less to get the effects that you're after. New to CBD? Fields offers a free CBD hotline to help guide you through your personal experience. Fields works naturally to help you feel better. There's no high hangover or addiction. Join the Fields community to get Fields delivered to your door every month. You'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel anytime. Fields has us feeling our best every day and it can help you too. Become a member today by going to fields.com slash roast and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash roast to become a member and get 50% off automatically taking off your first order with free shipping. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash roast. Now, um, with Married the Medicine, did you see that, um, what's her name? Buffy. Buffy. She's uh, not coming back. Oh, thank God, Buffy's not coming back. Did you see her statement? No. Well, I have it here. Okay, I'm glad you have it because I was never interested in what she had to say on the show. So a lot of it she blamed editing because she was not happy on the show. She was basically saying like, she is free. You know what? She is free, absolutely free. Getting no paycheck, not even a day rate, just free. She said, editing, in all caps, is a powerful thing. I was myself the entire time. I'm not going back. I did what I went on that show to do. I demonstrated that all Black women don't act the way depicted on that show in real life. Has she seen the show? Has she seen the first season when they were bopping each other with pocketbooks and almost fell in the pool? Have they? I'm, girl. I was strong and secure enough to take the on-screen and social media perception beat down while holding true to myself. I could be strong while crying, vulnerable yet a pillar of strength and integrity, silent but deadly. This is, I think this is the first time I read this out loud. Silent but deadly, what are you, a fart? <laughs> All while not furthering the media's agenda to depict black women as, ooh, recalcitrant and for entertainment purposes, not educational purposes only. And when you don't take the bait of an argument, you allow them to reveal who they really are. I will not be interested in going to any of the parties. And then she says, oh, almost free, counting down the days, and then I'll never speak of them or it again. Hashtag moving on. Well, sweetie, you can stop your clock right now because we don't give a fuck about you. We didn't give a fuck about you. You weren't interesting. You were a hot sizzling mess. And if the editing tried to save your ass and, and give you some type of a plot so you could come back next season once you got your footing, but you know what? Go on, girl. And again, we never even saw this big, fabulous house and you had all this money. Where, where was the fabulous house? That's true. Speaking of Married to Medicine, um, have you seen the ratings for LA? No, are they bad? They are bad. How can they're they pretty be bad. bad. I don't think they're coming back. How can they be that bad when there's nothing on? Like you've got the Sunday Night Bravo slot. It's, it's crazy. Like, it's just not must, like, I totally checked out. And I think new episodes are, like, still running, right? I am two episodes behind myself. Wow. I'm kind of nervous for that show. I don't think it's coming back. Um, I mean, if the ratings are bad, like, they tried Married to Madison Houston, and that was a one-season wonder, like Shamari DeVoe or Deshaun Snow. Wait, there was a Houston? Mm. <laughs> you lying. I don't, I, I don't even remember. I don't recall anything. Um, it, did, like, it didn't get that much press in Promomo, and it was one and done. 
And I feel like... Did you review it? No. And it went so fast. I think I tried, and I was just like, oh. The doctors are not interesting. Um, I just, I can't wait to see what Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is bringing. Oh, I am going to check out the Real Housewives of Johannesburg. That's just... I heard it's really good. And it looks good, because ain't no shade like African shade. They will say, my heart weeps for you, because your daughter is a whore. My heart weeps. I could not imagine having a son so ugly and unintelligent. Is it because you had an affair? God has punished you. They will hit you with that. Wow. OK. I like a good deep cut. I'm sure you do. <laughs> um, speaking of deep cuts, um, Evelyn Lozada has an OnlyFans. And for $24.99, um, you can check it out. Now, if anybody wants to report to us what you guys see on there. Oh, you froze. No, I just couldn't believe it. So if any of y'all want to tell us what's on there, please let us know. But on the video, it's ba not on the video, on the post, you have a picture of her feet saying I, and, and just promoting the OnlyFans. I could see feet. Remember how she was beating the hell out of her pussy on uh, Basketball Wives? She was already advertised. Child B. Simone is back at it again. Now she's going to offer a free webinar on copyright infringement following plagiarism and allegations. Because that's what I want to do. Sit up here and look at you explain to me something you don't know how to do and barely just found out. I, thought I was hoping we didn't have to talk about her, but this okay. is the most press she's ever had. You know what, exactly. She's running for Amanda Seals. See, I, I didn't even mention her. But we sure will after her BET Awards hosting performance. When I'm is sure that? we'll both have our, I'm sorry? When is that, by the way? It is Sunday evening. Oh, oh it's coming up fast. Yeah. I'm sure we'll both have our respective uh, reviews on it. I will be here. I hope she does a great job, and I hope she doesn't put her foot in her mouth. I'm sorry, I think she's gonna have a sandal sandwich, but that's just me. Oh, Lord. I love the blast because they'll give you a headline like this. Former billionaire Kylie Jenner and sister Kendall accused of screwing over garment makers for clothing line. Former billionaire. Former billionaire. I'm like, you go ahead, the blast. Now that's shady. I appreciate a shady headline. Usually, um, who does that? Bossa does it a lot. Media takeout sometimes, but it's usually a lie. <laughs> yeah, media takeout just does lies. Jay Prince responds to NBA young boy telling him you are a dumb boy with limited thinking abilities. I agree with that. I agree with that. I think that Jay Prince is a dumb man with limited thinking skills. He's the one who's trying to screw Meg Stallion out the money, right? Oh, that is him, isn't it? I thought it was that Carl Crawford guy, but it's both of them? It's both of them. Oh, OK. Has karma reached him yet? Huh? Because karma is getting Carl Crawford. Ooh, all the way together. Y'all can even read the stories. We don't even need to say it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This was interesting. Did you hear that $1.4 billion of stimulus money went to dead people? <laughs> Whitney Houston probably got a check. Michael Jackson, too. Shit. How does that get through the cracks? How does that slip through the cracks? I can't wait till this is all over. This is a bad movie. Right now, we're in the part where everything is a montage. <laughs> I just, oh my goodness. I mean, I just never, just never thought, never thought. We've got some good news. Tony Braxton is collaborating with Missy Elliott. Oh yeah, she's doing a remix, I heard. I wish, you know, Tony would have worked with her sooner. I don't, I don't think I recall Missy ever working with Tony. I... I want to say on the Libra album, maybe. 
maybe. Missy has worked with everyone. She is um, your legends fave. Yeah. Your favorite legends fave. Yes. What have you been watching on TV lately? I've been watching a lot of reruns. Power season one, <laughs> Jersey season one, Atlanta season four. Um, okay. I just started 90 Day Fiance. Fine. Oh my God, the viewers have been, been yelling, clawing at you to do it. Finally, finally. Finally, it has happened to them and they want to, I don't know, anywho. Oh my God. I, they definitely have been on my ass, baby. And yeah. I said, okay, we're only three episodes in. That show is a good two hours, but they are hot messes. So I'm like, all <laughs> right, I'll give it a whirl. Um, I recently just been watching some shit on Netflix. Um, I did see Disclosure. Have you heard of it? No. Really? So it's so good. It's basically a documentary of trans visibility in media, TV, and um, film. Um, Laverne Cox is kind of like the main person narrating it, but they get all types of prominent trans people. It is amazing. It is so good. I did a review on it because it was just, I think it's so important for people to see. Okay, well, I will have to check that it's out. It's only an 40 minutes, y'all. It's, it's an easy watch, too. Like, and I didn't know that there was just so much problematic, oh, did I freeze? No. Oh, could you, you freeze so well. Anyway, it just highlights all the problematic shit, basically, of trans people. And it's been a long time. Like, ever since the early 2000s and late 2000s, they point it all out. And just seeing it clip by clip by clip, it's crazy. That'll be a good Pride Month watch. Mm -hmm. While Lay speaks on his label issues and says that he is blackballed to death, I think that you just whine so much and your music ain't that damn good. Yeah, I agree. Who is he? Exactly. <laughs> I, can't, I know who Wally is. Just, I just have no interest. I did tell you, like, Amanda Seals and him almost fought. I am not surprised. They both seem like those kind of people that don't know how to act in public. <laughs> He tried to step up to Amanda Seals. I was just like, wow. Like, she told me her boyfriend at the time checked him, though. She had a man? I knew that was next. I knew it was next. Oh, my God. Yes, she had a man at one point. <laughs> How long did that last? I just... It's just every time you, I, I hear about Wale, I think of that story she told me. Um, yeah, that's- Wait, that's, wait, now hold on. So you didn't see this? You're just going off of Amanda Seals' word? Yeah, because she just said he's an asshole in real life. She thought someone was an asshole. Wait a minute. So wait, I, did you ever see this boyfriend? in the three-dimensional, or is this like the African prince? So nasty and so rude. Moving on. Oh, what do you think about Nikki getting the second number one? And that was our show, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you sooner than I can acknowledge that. And also, does it really count when you hop on a coattail a win is a win is a win. You're right. You're right. That's how Beyonce thinks of it, because she's won a lot of Grammys with a lot of stolen music. Jesus Christ. I also want to say, I hate that every time I bring up Nicki Minaj on Twitter, there's this one troll who always comes to me saying, why are you talking about Nicki Minaj? Why are you, why are you, you must love her so much you're talking about her. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I will talk about who I want to talk about on my page. Unfollow me, please. I have had one or two of those tweets, and I'm like, what? where did you come from? You have nothing to do. 
if you're sitting here worrying about, and like, you know how often I tweet about her, so it's pretty rare, but it's like, you really, you just sit all day. Why are you talking about Nikki? Why are you talking about Nikki? Like, I hope you're streaming her album while you're doing that, because you sure ain't buying it. And speaking of streaming, um, this week, you know, it went number one. It fell 27 spots. So next week, it won't even be in the top 20. Coattail. I'm just saying. Coattail. Coattail. And with that, I guess I'll see you sooner than I see Evelyn Lozada's OnlyFans. Ooh. I don't want to see that. 